I just wanted to get my, myself um, at the front, you know, and be in contention. And then I knew my speed was the best over the last lap. So I just try and hold it and, you know, control the race and then use my, my kick over the last lap and just hope I could hold it to that line. And I'm just so pleased I could. The time was really magnificent. It was a really fast race. So coming to the race, did you expect you to run? Did you plan to run so fast today? No, I was actually really surprised when I saw it was 4-1. I was like, oh, wow, because off that last lap, I don't know why I did that last lap, but to run 4-1 is quick considering, you know, it wasn't maybe the fastest at times. So, um, yeah, really, really pleased, almost running sub four in, in a race where I felt like I had a really strong last lap too. Is it have to have strong opponents like the Irish girl was really chasing you in the last lap? Was it good for you? I mean, it, yeah, it's good and bad, <laughs> you know, you don't, you want to try and get clear, but Kira's running so well, but it's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic to see her doing so well, but I knew I had to run really well today to beat her, because I know how well she's running too, so it's, uh, yeah, it was a good battle out there, and I'm, I'm just pleased I could come away with the, with the win, and Kira getting the silver was lovely too. You have a really busy season, so the last question, what is now for you, what is waiting for you, and what's your plans, maybe after the season? Uh, I've just got literally three or four races, just fun, one up races, no pressure, just enjoy it. Um, as long as the body's in one piece, uh, hopefully so far so good. Um, and then, yeah, my first holiday abroad for four years. Uh, you know, I've stayed at home the past few years. So it'll be nice to get away, get away somewhere at the end of the season. And then, yeah, prep starts for next year. Yeah, it was unbelievable. I know that I'm one of the guys who can definitely win the race. I didn't have the best time, uh, but I know that my tactic is really good. I can be really fast in the last lap. So that was my goal to be in, uh, in a in the first group when the last lap starts, so I did it, yeah. It was a really tactical race, and everybody knew that your finish is always very fast, so you really were prepared for this kind of scenario. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to control the race from the start, just to keep like decent pace, that everyone is happy, and no one wants to push the pace that, that like too fast for me. And yeah, then of course in the, in the second half, the Italian, strong Italian guys, they started to increase the pace. So I just knew that I, I need to keep up and uh, just wait the last lap. You came here as the eighth fastest from the, from the list this season. Did you even think of winning this medal before the championship? Yeah, of course. I knew that I, have, I haven't had a perfect race, but of course I, my, my goal was to take a medal. And if everything goes well, I know that I can, be, I can take the gold medal, but of course there, is, there was uh, better guys who like guys who have run faster times this year, but uh, as I say that I'm not 100% uh, happy with my my season best so far. So hopefully I can I can have a chance to run a good time also after this race. Yes, Dream Championships is still not over yet. Sunday we go again in the relay, and I'm excited to be a part of that. But individually, it's a way to, a great way to close it out. Very happy gold medal. I'm so happy for that man. How hard it was it for you today to run it? 20.07, uh, it's a really good time. Are you happy with it? Yeah, um, in lane three it was kind of tough, but um, I haven't been doing much 200s this season, actually. So this is like my second 200 for the season. And to come away and get 20.0 in lane three, I'm very happy. I think my coach is going to be elated about it. So I'm very happy to be going away with a gold medal tonight. What would be your target for the next season? Probably will be more hundreds, more 200s. Uh, my coach is going to decide. Um, he told me to get prepared for some 400s at the end of the season. Well, all the season. So we'll see what his, what's, what's his plan, man. I'm hoping it's not a 400 meters. <laughs> How hard? Oh, I really enjoyed it. And the crowd uh, supported us really well. Also, a lot of fans from Lithuania. And, uh, I'm really happy to become the champion. And uh, it's amazing. You're very young, still in a junior, let's say, junior age, uh, and you won the major senior championships. Is it like a breaking point, a, a milestone in your career? Oh, yeah, it really is. And uh, I don't know how it happened so fast, and uh, I'm just very happy. Uh, I expect that my journey will be very long. You're definitely a strong generation in Christian Czech. Uh, it looks like it's going to be like battle of your two in the next competitions. Uh, do you feel it like that? Oh yes, uh, Cristiano is a very strong athlete, and maybe today it wasn't his day, but uh, he's very strong. And hit next year, he's going to be even even better. So it's going to be very very interesting uh, competition between uh, between us two, and also uh, 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 Daniel Saul, uh, Simon Pedersen, and other guys. I had a very tough season with injury, so to be here and bounce back, it it means the world, and. Uh, you know, I learned that you should never take anything like this for granted, and now I'm going to enjoy it even more because I know it's so tough. So, what, what, what was the key thing uh, to prepare for these championships for you? 
first of all, not getting an injury that would be that would mean the end of my career, and and second to be able to train again, coming in here with the big level. So now I'm showing that I'm on my way back, and uh, you should never count me out. Jakob Ingebrigtsen was saying he was seeing many Norwegian flags in the crowd. Yeah. Did you also have the chance to see? It? Does it absolutely. support you? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, and also I had my friends and family here, so it means a lot. What's next in your schedule now? Everybody's uh, interested. You know, this year it's you know this is one of my last competitions, and uh, you know hopefully I get a few more races in. But I'm also looking forward to next year and to get back to training. Uh, today for me uh, it's the best evening in my life. But this year it's very uh, I don't know it's very difficult because uh, I start my year. Um, in silver medal, world indoor champion, and uh, I'm ready in uh, uh, world champion in huge and jumping more, but uh, but not lucky. And uh, I try today jumping more, and I have 15 meters. <laughs> if I remember well, it was in Belgrade, uh, world yeah. indoor, that you just uh, tried the triple jump for the first time at the international event. So how is it possible to get 15 meters in such a short time? Uh, sometimes I jump in my training uh, triple for the for the good condition uh, for the long jump, but uh, and and sometimes my coach we need to try uh, triple and I uh, coach uh, really no 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 no, but uh, after Olympics uh, in in winter I uh, need to a little bit change my focus and uh, we try uh, triple in the um, uh, Ukraine champion and. Yeah, yes. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> I think we need to try more. And after uh, Belgrade, I training a little bit more for the triple. And uh, today I, I feel uh, I'm ready and uh, I'm very happy because uh, I jump in today my results. <laughs> yeah, it was just amazing season from the from the winter. Then I do two national records, the world championship, and now here to going home with two medals, one table and finally one gold. I'm just amazed. It's just unbelievable. I bet you please not only the German fans but also many Swiss fans understand so how special was this evening for you it, it's just so crazy it's just so nice to run here it's too sad it was the last time <laughs> it's just the, the crowd is so amazing there's so many Swiss and the, the whole crowd is just it's it's just such mu uh, so much uh, fun to to run here knowing that there is so many fans uh, waiting for you and expecting a medal for for you how do you cope with the pressure and the stress for me, it's, it's really a positive pressure because I know that I'm ready. I know I'm in a good shape and I can win it. And it just I know I have to do a good race, but it's really a positive pressure. I love uh, racing and just competing. I remember you in 2014 in Zurich winning your first big medal. Can you compare these two medals? Like, well, how did you change since Zurich 2014? It was just a final then, but it was huge because it was the first sprint final, I think, for Switzerland, for, for women. And it was just, it was on another level. Um, I'm so happy that I progressed every Every year since then and then I finally made it to do a silver and a gold medal at the European Championship and it's just it's so much fun my whole career that what I can experience and it's just yeah I enjoyed a lot. Yeah.